Hello, let us pray. God is so sweet, you're so wonderful, and you are worthy to be praised. Amen. God bless you all. Uh, I want to talk about the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the old word, but the new word is the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is the power of God, the Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, which has appeared throughout the scriptures as being through in whom the great works and the powers are made and manifest by God's power, which was first seen in the creation when he created the earth in Genesis 1, 1 and 2 and Job 26 verse uh, 13. The Holy Spirit also in, is the empowered men and women in the Old Testament to bring about God's will, such as Samuel, who took a horn of oil and anointed him. Uh, uh, Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came upon David in power. 1 Samuel 16 and 13. See also Exodus 31, 2 and 5 and Numbers 27 and 18. Although the Spirit did not permanently indwell in God's people in the Old Testament, he worked through them and gave them power to achieve things they would not have been able to accomplish on their own will. All of Samson's power and his strength, not only was it in his hair, but it came from the Holy Spirit. Jesus had the Holy Spirit on him, and with the Holy Spirit, it helped him to defeat the devil by being strong enough to tell the devil that, no, I won't bow down to you for the powers when he was tempted to 40 days in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus had that Holy Spirit on him. Not only that, but he was part God as well as part man. Uh, with that being said, I have seen the works of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has has given me power beyond compare. I recall one time when uh I was working at uh I was working at Churchill Dam, and this always has stayed on my mind, and it always reminds me of how strong and how the super God is supernatural. He has supernatural powers, and he is awesome. I was driving through the alley, and a lady was coming the opposite direction from me. She was speeding through the alley, and Miss Ledford. I was going <laughs> preceding at a good, probably 50 miles an hour with everything in me, with everything in me, we should have hit. People ran to us when we stopped. I mean, we stopped, we should have hit each other, but I mean, we was like, it wasn't even hard. We, we touched, we should have touched. People was running from everywhere. Oh my God, are you all right, all right? And me and the lady, we both looked. <laughs> We didn't hit. And I know God is awesome. And that Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, it intercedes for you. Yeah, it intercedes. I remember when God blessed me out of five people, I received a scholarship to attend college with my old butt. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. The Holy Spirit that gives you that superpower. That superpower to use that brain. My brain was dead. I know I had dead cells in there. And how I accomplished to pass some tests to, to get back into college after what my 17th time or so. <laughs> it was awesome. It was really awesome. You know what God can do. With that being said, uh today I was riding down the street, riding, driving, and there was a lady laying on the street. And this is like 12, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. The lady's laying on the street. It's a black lady laying on the street. And she's laying on a pillow on the bus stop on the ground. And I am irked that everyone drove by. Maybe earlier someone had called the police and they knew she was okay. But other than that, by the time I went to the store to get her something to eat, and I'm not bragging, I pat myself on the back, but... No one had came there to live, to see about this lady. How do we walk around and be blind to people laying on the street? And as God is awesome as he is, 
I had seen this same lady earlier sitting out. I seen her yesterday sitting on the bus stop as I was riding up Broadway. And in my heart, I wish to God I had my church. I wish I had a church because it had already died on me. If I had a church, I would have had it open for Derby Day. And I would have served some dinners to people that was out there that didn't have family and people to go to, didn't have a destination. I would have served them some food and I would have celebrated God Derby with them. You know, I mean, those, these are things that just irk me. But for us to walk around and see a human being on the ground and not go to that person's aid to see if they're living or dead or if they're in need of assistance. It, mm, it's bad. It's bad. It's, it's, it's beyond bad. We wrong. We wrong. We wrong with that. But, you know, I told her to get up, you know, and I talked to her. You know, I didn't go into no dialogue about, ooh, why are you laying on the ground and all this or that? Oh, why don't you get up? Why don't you, don't you have family? Oh, my job is not co to condemn nobody. For, but for the grace of God, it could be me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't in no situation to judge nobody. I ain't nothing but a rotten, filthy, dirty rag. Like David said, wash me, clean me, purge me. Wash me with hyssop. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Mm. Oh, Lord Jesus. But that's what I want. That's what I want. I wish I had me. A, yeah, that's what I want. And I pray to God to give me a church so I can help people. So when my sister and my brother is laying on the ground, I can say, get up and come with me. Because I know a man that would have stopped by and seen to you. But his power is great power. And I can't say his power is greater than man because greater is he that dwells in me than he that is in the world. So I could have touched her and, and, and healed whatever infirmities that's in her. We have that gift if we call upon God and we be doing his will and we be obedient to him. We can go out here and we can say, come out, unclean spirit. Come out, demon of poverty. Come out. Mm. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Woo, Lord Jesus. But as I walked away, I said, God help her. God help her. God bless her. I seen on her past that she had some blood. And I prayed that she, I didn't see any injuries. But I prayed that God gonna, God gonna take care of her. God gonna take care of her. He already, it's already done. It's already done. Because she sees a human being care about another human being. And we don't know who seen me show aid to her. And I pray to God that it was a child. I pray to God that it was someone that wants to go out here and do the same thing. Not walk by another human being because they, it could be them. It could be you. It could be me. Mm. The world cannot turn around and do good if it don't see people doing good. People are not going to just drop guns and drop the violence and people getting killed every day if they don't hear a word about God. If they don't know God. They don't know Jesus. Anytime a person can sit back and take a life and not have a conscious man to be thinking about the life that they're taking, especially if they're taking it an innocent life, a person that didn't do anything to them, any harm to them. They're wrong, wrong, but just killing people just to be killing for five dollars a quarter. You stepped on my shoes. You wronged me. You disrespected me. Oh, please. And not think about, Lord, look, I hurt somebody. Not even know to say the word, Lord. Ooh, 2017. We don't know God. We don't care nothing about God. Mm. I do. I do. I care about him. If I didn't care about him, I wouldn't be sitting here saying what I'm saying. Yeah. People don't know what it's like just to be convicted, to do what you don't want to do. Mm. But not my will, but God's will be done. God bless all of you, keep you, and I pray that your derby day was nice.
pray, I pray that it was safe. I pray that you helped somebody. I pray that the word of God, uh, uh, the, uh, Jesus was in your mouth. I pray that out of the thousand words that you say throughout yesterday and throughout the rest of your life, I pray that 800 of those words contain Jesus. I pray that he stays on your mind. I pray that he stays in your spirit, heavy in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind. I pray that you pray, not just for yourself and for your family, but I pray that you pray for others, especially for the people that's laying out here in the street. Homelessness is not fixed. Man, it's bull crap. It's not fixed. It's still alive and well. Let's pray for one another. God bless you all and have a wonderful week. Amen. Bye-bye.